Okay, okay. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of uh, Let's Play the Lord of the Rings Online. We started the uh, Roomkeeper two episodes ago in the new uh, content from the expansion Before the Shadows. Comes with two new maps and basically two new star regions up to level 35. And uh, yeah, we see how it goes today. So we reached this um, very nice looking Hobbit village called Klaegor, I think, which was nice there by the by the waterfalls, which like had like a canyon type of uh, mountain next to it. And uh, this is where we uh, continue now after the load screen. We took a bunch of quests already and did some stuff already. And uh, we'll just continue there and then also uh, go into the storyline after. Uh, probably we did the side quests, but I'm not sure. We just we just go with the flow here. So uh, let me quickly squeeze up the, the, the graphics. Uh, okay. That should be fine, right? A bit laggy because it loads up. All right, so we are back. So let's see. We have a bunch of quests that we can do. We have to still find like a kid and tell him to go home and eat the mother. Um, let's do that. A call to sub. It's actually right next to this person here. So also check the image quality of the stream or of the video here, the Let's Play episode. And um, that what I record doesn't really get uploaded to YouTube. So YouTube puts some sort of um, quality uh, reduction on my videos. Maybe, I don't know, because I'm not a big creator. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know how to fix this. But uh, this is for now probably the best quality that I can uh, achieve on uh, HD. And 4K, I don't think I can... Uh, the 4K, I don't have a 4K screen, so. But, um, yeah, this is the best that we can get at the moment, quality-wise. Like, the, as I've said, the recordings, they look sharp, as if I played live. I'm at, I'm at uh, 15,000 bit rate. But uh, the upload is kind of reduced a little bit. So this is a stun. Let's put this to E, maybe. Okay, so what else can we do? Um, collect weekly meat orders. That's something that we already started doing. So basically, we go from house to house and collect uh, these letters, like meat orders of the the people living here, I guess. Um, okay, so let's see. We have two more. There's the another one. Meat order. And then the last one, which is where. Right over there at the crafting hall, I think. Yeah, I should also sort out my inventory. I'm gonna gonna do that when I stop recording this one. All right, weekly meat order, and let's go back to the butcher. Bring the weekly meat order to Kuneda Mold Gig in his shop, which is over there. This one here, right? Yeah, butcher shop of Klegur. You know what? Let's read the quest here. Good, good, very good. Wait, where is the order for Major Maul Maddock? Oh, sometimes he forgets to post his order, but that doesn't mean he will understand if I don't send the stakes to him that he expects. You would better talk to the mayor in person, then run back here and let me know what he wants. So the mayor forgot uh, to get his uh, order out. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the mayor. I think he's the guy all the way on top of there, right? He's also already involved in the story for the prologue, which we're gonna continue soon. First, get his uh, order. It's, it's a guy up there, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's. Uh, I think it was daytime last time we went here, right? So now it looks kind of. I don't. I really like this place. It looks uh, very idyllic. And. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Detailed, I would say. A lot of details and just a nice location, right? To have a to have a little town built next to these waterfalls. So let's go back to the butcher. Let's see what he gets. So what does the mayor want for his meat delivery next week? The same as last time. It's always the same, you know, but if I don't ask him, he complains that I didn't. 
I think the mayor just likes the attention. He always says he's very busy, but he's always just standing out there on his porch with his dog taking in the sun. One of these days, I should take a holiday. Maybe I could be a mayor and then I would have more than enough time to relax. Okay, all right. I guess that's the, the botch request. <laughs> Let's... Um... Actually, the prologue quest has something to do with meat as well. And there's a bunch of quests at level 10, which are somewhere up there. We have to like go and free some hobbits. Bring the delightful... I would say we do first the lower level quests, and then we go up and do these here, the level 10 ones, I would say. So, village in the sky. This is a... Okay, actually, this is also up there. Tulan Garan. You know what? I'm going to untick this. Let's see what you still got. Bring the delightful little planter to Venna in southeast Mossward. They want us to go back, Garot. Okay, can we take a horse for that? A, lovely day a quick me. one. Okay, let's go back to Mossward quickly and do this one. I don't want to spend five mutual coins on uh, on that type of quest here. You know, that's that's a bit uh, a bit much. Oh, you gave me actually uh, roast pork as a reward, the butcher. Okay. So back to Mossward. This was the starter village here. Okay. So the person is here. I think that's the, the healer, right? That's uh, that woman here. That woman in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Isn't she like the healer? Okay, so we got him. We got her some boots. What a beautiful gift! Oh my, Gerald! What a dear man he is, and thoughtful for him to give up his favorite boot for his delightful little planter. This is the finest anniversary gift I could have imagined. Do you know I had believed he would forgotten? Wow! I simply must have Scardy fashion a replacement boot in his exact style for my dear Gerald. Thank you again, Danifia. Our family is in your debt for so many reasons. So now I. Uh, Oh, okay, so that still was a Moss request. So he got her a gift or what? Like they like uh, married or what? Anniversary gift. We got 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 her some boots. Uh, okay. All right, Gerald. Gerald of the mustache. How did it go? Did you manage to get rid of that boot? Okay, you tell Gerald about Brielin Winbotch solution to the problem. And he thinks it's over. Well, I never would have thought of that. The boot remains at my home, a reminder to me of my adventuring days, but without the connotation that I regretted my choice to settle down. And to my wife, it is a thoughtful present and a gift that Ably demonstrates my commitment to the family. Miss Winbutch is quite clear. Let us hope she continues to use her skills for the good and not for ill. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but she gives me some nice uh, earrings. Yeah, I guess we, we still had some uh, some quests here. Then it looks like we are going to do the prologue. And for that, I would say... We, yeah, we have to go back to Kligor and then we go hunt some, uh, some animals for some meat. Hello there. So let's go back to Kligor. Five silver. How much money do I have here? I have eight silver left. Okay. I guess it's time to sell some stuff, huh? If we can sell something. They also did in this update overall, they increased the prices for the stable masters. Because they were like, well, super cheap, you know, like, I don't know, Minas Tirif Dupree was like 10 silver. I think now it's a, a 500 or a 100. So, yeah, they, they just adjusted a bit the prices for the, the traveling, the fast traveling. Which I think is good, you know, I mean, this game is highly inflated anyway, when it comes to like all the, the items you sell and buy, you know, it's like all like super expensive for like nothing, because there's so much money around. So let's see, I'm not sure we can probably save these here, I don't really need these lower level, the lower portions, and now we have 37 silver. Okay. I mean, we. to be fair, we didn't uh, kill a lot of monsters yet, so 
we, we didn't really have the opportunity to even make money. So let's go here. That's like a, a quest behind the falls. Okay, that, that's a lot. So it's all to discover. Oh, wow. Okay, I would say we do that after. That's hmm. There's something here. This one. The Delit's Errand Arrow. Search for the missing arrow and I hear some works. I will probably craft myself gear. <laughs> or I I just start a uh I don't know, like a craft myself here. I think I don't have a uh a tailor. Maybe I do. I, I need to check. Oh, let's get a bit of some works. Actually, they count towards the collect uh, choice of collect choice cuts of meat from beasts. There's an avanc too, or avonk, however you pronounce that. Oh, this is, okay, so this is actually we have to defeat. Bring the arrow to Delith. Okay, we will stay here and we are going to uh, kill or more animals. Do they count too? So we can collect like some rat meat too. Alright. Interesting. Well, why not? I will take it. Wolf meat. Wolf meat too. And some more rat meat. You know we get the boar as well. So okay, good. So we have the meat. We have to go back to uh, Plagur. Looks like this is again the uh, the butcher guy. Okay, let's go back. Let's bring back the arrow to uh, Elif. And then we uh, keep going with the prologue a little bit. So, who's this here? This Telif? That's a, a butcher shop, so we have to go back to the butcher. Or the prologue. Beast cuts a choice indeed. Well done, my friend. I will get to salting and preserving these meats right away. You're always welcome to help out in the store vales. And I will tell my neighbors what a help you have been today. They might not appreciate it immediately, but they will when winter comes and their bellies are full rather than empty. So I got him some some rat meat, six or so, and I don't know, okay, some works too. And this is gonna feed them for the winter. Well, I guess. I should have warned you that the folk in. Okay, it comes with the territory, you might say. So the mayor of Klager is waiting for the overdue return of some of his hunters. I hope they did not run a fool, a foul of a raiding party like the ones that attacked Mossworth. I will take a look around and see what I can discover. Perhaps you can check in on the situation in the other two villages in the Storwales. Someone in Glenhelic or Lintref may have, have seen something. So, okay, we already got two different uh, towns which are here. Lintref and Glyn Helix. So this is like another like mini Shire or what? So like, you know, mini Hobbit uh, realm here. Storwheels, Storwheels, Storwheel. so yeah, there's actually in the book some... Uh, there's actually some uh, some store, some lore about different, three different Hobbit, uh, what should I say, races, I guess. And uh, some of them actually settled down close to Enidvite. So basically here, like here's Enidwight and I mean to be fair, in Venetwight there's also this uh, town, right? Which is called uh, Maltul. No, no, it's this. Yeah, there was definitely a town, right? In Enidwight. I think it's this one. Yeah, so yeah, actually it makes sense. Okay, very cool. Okay, so um, we, what should we do first? Should we do this, the waterfall? Let, let's just go over a bit of the waterfall and... Okay, we have to rinse the arrows off anyway. Here at the the river. Cleansing waters. 
but as a watermill. Okay, let's go discover quickly here. So we have to discover... Oh. Behind the bridge. This is where we have to go. Okay. Rocks just out behind the... Okay. So... Okay. About this here. Okay. Pounding waterfall will not allow you further. So... Are we assuming here that there's some hidden stuff place? Behind the waterfalls or what? Okay. Uh, let's go back quickly to Delif and let's bring her back those arrows that we uh, collected. Okay. Right, there she is. Okay. I'm sure I should have probably read that, but interesting. We just got there some arrows. Maybe she's a hunter too, right? So, okay, uh, let's check here the uh, waterfall behind the bridge. Just this one over there. And then I would say we go first to this stuff up here before we go here deeper into the store veils. Do I have to swim here that it counts or what? I have to swim. Okay. Okay, it looks like I cannot go any further. I can really. Okay. Okay. Seems to be all that's here. Let's follow the river, because up there is. Supposedly another waterfall to discover, and then we go left, and I hope we can get up there, then free the uh, captured hobbits, I would say. I wonder what that is. Maybe some ruin, like uh, some bandits. That doesn't work. We have another skill point. Actually, two. <laughs> Maybe go definitely for crit chance. There's a waterfall there. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have to go down the waterfall. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna survive this. Yep, i definitely not gonna survive this. I have to find a way around it, and then go from the bottom. We can go down here. Yeah, yeah that looks much uh, more healthy to go down this way. All right. Now we need to find a way to get up here again. Hmm. Let's see if here. Okay. 
go up here. And then we go free these hobbits. We go up here. This here. Yeah. Okay. Store rails. Oh. What is this? Is it a town over there? Looks like a little town. In the inside those canyons. <laughs> nice. So this is this uh landscape here from more swords. Let's go have a look up there. It looks like okay, that looks like uh like a camp, huh? Like a evil evil camp. Oh, it's bandits. So we have the three hobbits here. I see one already over there in the cage. Prisoner cage. Is there anything else I have to do? Oh yeah, ruffians and I think we have to find some sort of book. Inside. There's another hobbit right there. Hobbit parcel. What is this quest? Ah, oh, this this one. Village in the sky. You have to go more up here. one inside the tent maybe no not here ancient tome Ancient tomb. Waking up. Oh, that's the book. Okay, that's that book.
could see another hobbit over there. Yeah, I'm gonna really craft myself some gear. <laughs> or at least a weapon, you know. That would be good, like the damage is very low. Level 10, hey. Hey, hey, what's this? All that loot. There's something I can wear. This one. This one would be good. There's like a boss here. Okay, that gotta drop me this thing. Okay. Let's open the chest. Maybe there's some loot inside. Nope, what about a potion? Okay, we need two more hobbits. Um, where? There. So heavily guarded. And the last one. The last one is over there somewhere. What else do you have to do? I think that's all. Yeah. It's lagging. The average Lotra experience. A helmet. Battle gauntlets. The helmet. And the rune stone. A lightning one. Okay. Also bleeding out. They have a bleed potion or something. Hmm. Okay, I mean, that, that's it basically, right? Here. So we can go back to the village. So, can we do like. What would that be? Fate. Hmm. Honestly, I, I rather want to have more skills at this point. Leave me alone. Oh no. Where's my potions? Ah, oh, that was close. Apply changes, so we we for sure level this one up. That's important. And then maybe also this one next. But for now, actually, this is a new skill, all right? This is a runestone. Oh, okay, this is the... Okay, this is the runestone that you can place. Okay. Epic conclusion. Yeah, this is the... Uh, enormous line attack meaning. Okay, this is the... Uh, the big finisher. Yeah, looking, looking forward to these uh, skills. What is this? An epic battle awaits. Oh, thank you. Not yet. Some, okay. Yeah, I mean... I'm not gonna do epic battles. I gotta do this when it's time. The, the lore, you know? The story. It's kind of weird to do that at level 10. I mean, it's if you're even gonna be efficiently doing that. Okay, let's go back and then uh, be at the end of the episode, I would say.
let's quickly see what uh, we did here and why we did that. Ligur. Okay, what is this one? Oh yes, that's the one, The Path of the Light. This is quite a rare book, and I'm so grateful that you were able to find it. Are you perhaps familiar with the story? It's a tale of mighty warriors from beyond the twinkling night sky vanquishing evil where it hides. They will plates of dazzling lights. It's rather far-fetched, but the adventure these warriors go on is quite fascinating. Perhaps not. It's not a story just anyone reads again. A rare legend. Okay, so, yeah. Glad glad she got her book back. <laughs> then, uh, that's the one. Thank you for retrieving this for me. The Brigands have been pestering us folk for a while, and I feared our family might lose it. Please deliver this to my cousin Gwen for in Glyn Halic. Now, the way to Glen Helic is very rough. I cannot personally show you the way, but I have acquaintance that could follow the road is across. Okay, I mean, this is uh, going into the next town or next village. So, so we go anyway the next episode because everything is over there. But it's we have to follow this road next to the, the canyon mountain. I'm eternally grateful for all you have done. My friends are home and safe. I just hope we will sooner rather, we will sooner than rather than later be rid of those ruffians. My business cannot succeed here if they continue bleeding this town dry of its labors. I might have to move on from here to keep my friends safe. I mean, we greet this uh, hobbit that were captured. So, I mean, we have four quests left and it looks like we are done here, huh? In Kligor. Looks like we are actually done here and uh, yeah, the next episode we are going forward to the next town which is Glyn Halic across this bridge over there and following these roads it looks like so with that being said thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next episode of this playthrough when I have sorted out all of my inventory <laughs> and uh, let's see what I can craft myself for level 10 Not, I don't think it's much but uh, we will see Maybe a little bit of gear would be nice, right? So, have a good one. Peace.